All right, go ahead. So it's a uh, fall break for the kids. So we got all three kids out of school today. We're gonna have some more carnitas for breakfast, some pineapple fajitas mixed in with the eggs. We uh, been looking at a couple buildings. We're going to look at a 10,000 square foot building today. We'll uh, keep this building. We'll to take the other place on as an additional building. Um, it's, on, it's on 10 acres of property as well, so it's got a lot of room to expand. We can do a lot of shit up there. Um, Yesterday we went through and cleared out a bunch of boxes, just going through and looking through all the orders to see if there was something we could offer the customer get out of here. that would ship instead of uh, whatever was get out of here, whatever was missed out of here. See if we could. Uh, like one guy's missing, you know, a multi-cam bag, but we got a black and green one, so we offer it to him. If we sent a hundred of those emails out to those customers last night, ninety-seven <laughs> of them said sure whatever you can do to ship the order get the order processed the three guys that didn't take the offer turn that music all the way up just turn the, the stereo off um the three guys that didn't take the offer when we looked their names up every one of them motherfuckers has sent me an email every two weeks hey how's my order coming and every time we've told them and they always hey how's my order coming by the way um i'm not in any hurry and every one of those dudes has emailed me every two weeks. How's my order coming? I'm not in a hurry. Well, then why the fuck do you keep emailing me? How is my order coming? And every time I've told you, hey, we don't have this, and not only do we have it, I don't have it, I don't have an ETA on it. Some of the guys we've told, hey, we're not even going to have this shit this year. During the fucking big sale, we turned shit on for you guys and told you that it was going to be open-ended if you ordered it. And every one of them, the dudes that didn't take the offer, almost all of them, and if you're not in a hurry, stop fucking emailing me. Like, literally, it, it stops what we're doing. If you send me an email to check order status and you tell me you're not in a hurry, we are not replying to you anymore because you're not in a fucking hurry. And it stops what we're doing and it slows our days down. I cannot, if you're not in a hurry, don't fucking email me. And if you email me, make sure you include an order number. If you fucking ask me about the status of an order without an order number, we're not replying to you either. And eventually, you will get the picture. One of three things will happen. You'll get the idea that we're just not going to reply. You'll get the idea that we're not going to reply, and you'll send the correct information. Or you'll get irate, and we will refund you and cancel you. And when that happens, you're going to go out and do the normal, I hate John Willis on the internet. You're going to drive a bunch of traffic to us. And you're going to then go to our competitors and clog up their, their, their movements. You're going to fucking just stop what they're doing, and they're going to deal with that one asshole customer of ours, which takes the time. It's going to, it's going to free us, them up. It's going to clog them up, and the 10 customers they lose, we're going to get those 10 easy customers. If you're a fucking pain-in-the-ass customer, or you're fucking indecisive, or you can't follow simple instructions, we don't want you as a client. We don't have time for it. That's how it's been for 20 years. Never have we had more product than we could sell. No matter what we make, we can always sell it. The soon as we put it up, it sells out. Oftentimes, if we auction it, it sells for twice retail price. And that's the deal. And that's how it's always been for 20 years. And whatever dude's gonna get on here and give me business advice, you don't know what you're fucking talking about. Fucking, if you're gonna give me business advice, Fucking at least use your real name and post what successful businesses you own or have sold or have grown and sold or whatever it is. But we just don't need that shit. Um, Lance, you got anything this morning? What's up? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Oh my god. It's yes. uh, welcome to White Trash Wednesday. Holy yeah. Fuck. Uh, Lance thought it was White Trash Wednesday, but... It's the second Wednesday of the month. Lance is the only one that showed up dressed appropriate. <laughs> it looks like a it's gay like bear like trucker. <laughs> his pockets are hanging out his pants. Well, uh, oh, Shelton said he was challenging me to overalls. I said, I'll see your overalls and I'll raise your lifestyle. Fuck it. <laughs> you, you, you win. Thank you. Been back there watching a little bit of NASCAR videos on the YouTube and some putt-putt techniques. And... Uh, Waiting for my TV dinner to heat up. Awesome. Sitting on the top of the trailer. So yeah. What this is like? exhibit A to the restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is usually what precedes the restraining yeah. order. From here, go directly to restraining order. <laughs> what is putt-putt? Putt-putt golf, mini golf. Gay, you know? gay, gay truckers do that? It's... That's a little bit of an older crowd than what I'm going to find there. But if I could find one, that'd be cool too. 
right. But it's 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 it's, it's a more of a younger crowd that I'm looking for, you know. Why are you looking at me? I just find it funny that some dude's gonna show up in the video and call me a homophobe because you dress like that. Somehow I'm gonna be the homophobe. Right. Hey, all I gotta say. I get I get a homophobe and I'm a racist. I get one of those comments. Every no homo. Time we put a video. No up. homo. I've got a I've got clearly a, a gay trucker. Right. And I've got a brown dude behind the camera, but I'm, but I'm a fucking racist and a homophobe. <laughs> This is a good time to point out a rule that I think is universal, and that is jorts are never okay. Yeah, I, I, I think I, 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 they're kind of okay. I, <laughs> that's just because that's just because Colin's so short that all shorts become jorts on him. Yeah. All right. I've never heard of jorts. You're wearing. Well, you're wearing, you're wearing jorts. Like, just, Jean shorts. Yeah. Oh, you can buy them words. I yeah. love to do that. Like, yeah. one of my favorites is Horngry. Like, I'm so horny, but there's nothing to eat or fuck in this house. <laughs> I, I like that one. <laughs> that's hey, a good my one. law partner coined this one. Winnergy. Winnergy? Yeah, that's when you're winning and you have energy and it's all wrapped up nice. and it's Winnergy. I like that. He also made up chore play. You know what that is. No. Foreplay, but you're doing you, chores. Yeah, when you vacuum your wife sits yeah, the right. counter with her apron. Right, on. when you grab up the kids and take them away all day and let her do her thing, mm -hmm. and then you vacuum and, and take care of the domestic stuff. That's called chore play. Nice. Yeah. That sounds like she needs an extra job. I think I could do that just for shiggles. Shiggles? Shits and giggles. All right, I got you. Yeah. Okay. Those are some of my favorite words on Wednesdays. You know, you drop by SOE and you get five new vocabulary words. <laughs> right? And there will be a test. Yeah. They say you learn something new every day. I don't know if this is even worth learning though. Like I just can't unforget this. No. Oh, you, this genie's not going back in the bottle. Yeah. Fuck that. If, if you take Telling only one thing away from today, it, it's got to be the George. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. Well, I understand. I think, that now. I think George Here, probably become mandatory. Some, some dipshit. I wipe my hands on these towels. Everybody. Oh yeah. <clears throat> some dude's like, oh, that towel's full of salmonella. No dumbass. We fucking. Unlike you, we have a bunch of towels in our house. Yeah. And <laughs> not to the crazy thing about yeah, you can wash those motherfuckers. Before you touch the towel, like if you yeah. wash clothes, like supposedly, like it actually cleans them. Supposedly, that's what I heard. That, that didn't help. That's you wear on the street. I was like, I use the same towel all week when I get out of the shower. Fuck it, you're clean, right? Clean towel, clean body. Just dry it off, hang it up, and dry it. Fuck it. Well, I mean, that's what I tell my kids. Quit, quit filling up my laundry with all these damn towels. Use that towel and that washcloth. Fuck, give me the towel back. Just use that washcloth. You're looking good. You know, for like a month or so. And that's it. But. <laughs> Drying your whole body with a washcloth. Yeah. It's, it's, it's well, I got damp. three kids. I make them share one. I cut it in the thirds. <laughs> I'm trying to be sustainable and cut down energy. Middle and middle. reuse, reduce, and recycle, you know? Like. Heather, come here. This. Yeah, you definitely reduced it. Yeah, you reduced the amount of clothing you were wearing. Right? In a good way. Yeah, call him. Thank Boston. you. I, I dare you. I did it for the YOU. Yeah. Hey, so this is this is our, our lawyer. This is Dana McClendon, friend of ours. He is also the uh, hot crazy matrix dude. Yes. Yeah. He and, invented uh, that. He's also hot and crazy. What? He's got he's got some shirts. It's hotcrazy.com. Hotcrazymerchandise.com. Hot crazy Hotcrazymerchandise.com. He's got a couple different shirts here. Zoom in on that one. No black one. He's got the shocker, two in the pink, one in the stink. <laughs> yeah, that's what that should have been. Danger zone, fun zone. Got your trannies down here, of course. <laughs> this is the, what not Colin to leave anybody does. out. That's Lance, actually, but right. And then we got we got this one. And, and by the way, you know, I got I, I got a lot of grief over the like people are calling me homophobic or transphobic or whatever. I don't really get it because the trannies got the coolest spot in the whole matrix. They're up at their they're the hottest, eight coolest. To 10. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I mean. It's like, like the that's opposite. the spot. It's the opposite of homo. Right. We're not saying it's not really good. It's just not really good for us. Right. right. <laughs> you can have anything right. in your mouth you want. If, just not my dick. Hey, right. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And then um, this one, grab life by the horn. If you don't want to go around with the matrix and whatever, if work or, or you know, if you're going somewhere that you don't think that's an appropriate thing, then you can grab I the think, grab life by the horn. I think you should do one. Well, that wouldn't be because it's a chick. I was going to say you should do one that's a big giant cock. I think we should grab some horns and finger prop on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there's another one that uh, Unicorn Search and Rescue we can't show you because that one's fucking sold Dude, out. I, literally man, we've, we've ordered in. and reordered and reordered that one. The Unicorn Search and Rescue shirt has like the, the cool guy emblem right here, and then it's got the Matrix on the back, and it's a navy blue shirt. Yeah, that's been that's what I we, want. we can't yeah. keep those, man. We, every time I turn around, 
my guys t emailing me saying, you want to reorder? I'm like, well, yeah. You want to reorder? Yeah. Because they can't have an ass? Right. So, um, Hot you Crazy Merchandise. Your, your cat in your hat and all. HotCrazyMerchandise.com. We've got, um, and then you should go there and definitely get your chick. We got the certified unicorn shirts for the girls. They're real pretty shirts. I've seen they got those the, are cool. They got the neck. They're not fucking pretty. They're cool. They're, they're, they're cool. Hey, chicks are, uh, one. chicks are loving them. And if you give your girl one, there's a 90% chance you get lucky. Don't screw up the 10%. That's on you. If your girl puts her on, she becomes an I saw this. Slicky. I saw this in my, uh, in my feed on Facebook. And it was a definitely not safe zone marriage no, thing. She was and the chick crazy. was wearing one of the I'm a unicorn thing. Yeah. And like one of the first comments I saw was, I can't believe Tiffany's wearing one of those. <laughs> right. I was like, yes. Hey, uh, so Name's we did, Tiffany. Um, if, you, if you're on Facebook, uh, then you should go to Hot Crazy Matrix page and join up. Every day I post up something funny. Right now we're running a, a, a contest. And when the shirts started going out, I put up, I said, hey, if you get your shirt and you like it, post up a picture. Well, the next thing I know, I'm getting, you know, There's good looking, naked pictures all I'm over the place. good looking girls, women, you know, put, putting up their pictures. And some of them I know. So, I'm, you know, I mean, they're, they're nice ladies. Um, but then there's been a couple that I don't know in person, but nice looking girls and they're clearly enjoying their shirts. So, Has you know. Has your Facebook page been locked from inappropriate photos yet? Not no, yet. They're, they're back, I, I haven't made it yet. I okay, guess. well, we drug Heather in here. Heather have anything this morning? A lot of people like to see Heather. What? We keep getting asked for more Heather. We get people asking for her skin samples. We get people asking if we can pull her hair out of her hairbrush. There's a lot of crazy fucking stalkers. I've got a pile of her hair up there if you guys want to email me. We can make a deal. If you want any Heather smell on like a, a gift card or we can send you some paper with Heather smell on it. Like there's some weird fucking dudes out there commenting on Heather. Like, like seriously, like want to marry Heather. Heather's taken. Heather has produced children. She has children with her dude. <laughs> Heather, <laughs> Heather has in fact replicated, so... Right. Uh, Any, yeah. Anything to add this morning, Heather? She's Before made the hay in here. Um, I don't have anything to add to that, no. I can tell you guys uh, all about... What, what do we got here? <laughs> oh, this? This does not exist. Is this the Good Hallows cock? This is the All Hallows cock. Yep. All Hallows cock. You that, cannot have the that, super no. prototype edition uh, pumpkin cock. We are. It's going to be glorious. The Velcro, the Velcro that's going on those will actually be shaped in the shape of a bat for Halloween. These are we're going to run a, a sale to get a cock. You got to you got to use the coupon code and meet the sale requirements. But these are the Halloween cocks. We're going to do a, a small number of these pumpkin cocks. Pumpkin cocks. All Hallows cocks. Oh, that's a good thing or bad. Thing. What are you uh What are you going on as is Halloween? We know what you're dressed as for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what are you going to be for Halloween? What are you doing? Herself. Uh, I'm still I'm not sure, but we are. T I think I actually know what Bane's going to be now. Have Bane. you seen? Is going to be Bane? No. The LED light no. costumes where it's all black and then it looks like a little stick figure walking yeah. down the street. That's what Wait, show me how the stick raves. figure goes again. I can't. Do can it you, now. Can you rap like, Sing a song, Heather. I, I, Face the camera and do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good for 500. Right, yeah. Sebastian, come in here. Front and center. Do a dance yeah. now. Dance. Do the gangman. Come on. Do the gangman style. This is why I don't let you on camera because every time we put one in your face, you, you do Freeze. something silly. Okay, out. You're, you're banned. Go. You've been demoted. <laughs> I like his... No breakfast for you this morning. <laughs> and that's I like it when he puts, that change like when he puts on his angry eyes. And he gets all mad. And he's the like, crazy mm. thing is, little shit can dance. Like, you catch him He can dance. And he can sing any song. But not when you put the camera on him and he knows. He's yeah, that's dancer. why we need just, like, a live TV stream right? throughout this building. But we need a, yeah, you need, like, a 24-7 web TV. It'd be, like, yeah. a, and then an SOE just, voyeur like, like room. Like, big brother. Like, when you, when you go in this room, you know you're alive, so <laughs> always pull your pants back up, you know, like. <laughs> Don't go in there with Lance. <laughs> no matter what he says. <laughs> Lance hey, come here. Hey, come here. I want to show you something. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall for that. Isn't that, hey, the, isn't hey. that the voyeur room? I yeah. got a cold. Does, does this smell like ether to you? Yeah, <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, load that up. I love the way these videos end. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's how John, alright, that's a, like the turn Python that shit off. Everybody can't it's like the end of Holy Grail. <laughs> they just put nets over us and...